In this movie, I'm going to show you how to set up your GitHub repository and GitHub project in Eclipse. So to do that, we're going to need to have open a particular view, and that is the Git repository view. It's normally not open in Eclipse, so let's go ahead and show you how to do that. You're going to go to the Window menu, and you're going to select the category for Show View. Then select Other. When the Show View menu comes up, you're going to expand the Git folder and select Git Repositories. And then we're going to click OK. And then it's going to open up in one of the panels that's available here. So the main one that we're going to be working with here is called the Clone, a Git repository. It's the second one in here with the green arrow over top. I'm going to go ahead and click that. You could also select that one right there if it's hard to click for you. And then we're going to type in the URI for the GitHub repository. And I've given those out in class or I will post them to Schoology for you. So it's all going to follow the same pattern. I'll go ahead and select this in here. Basically, it's going to be https colon slash slash github.com slash Butterfield W slash and then you're going to replace this with your last name dot git. So I have example dot git. You would use your last name dot git. Then down here, I'm already logged in, but you're going to need to add in your username and password for GitHub. And then you may want to check the store and secure store box so that you don't have to constantly log in every time that you push and pull to GitHub. You may also be prompted at that point to enter in some uh, information about if you forgot your password, some secret questions and answers. Go ahead and fill that out and then continue. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. This next screen is basically saying, what do you want to pull in from GitHub? Well, I've already set it up so that your projects only have a master branch. So go ahead and just click Next again. And then lastly, you come to this screen. And this is basically saying, where do you want to store your GitHub? You can leave all of the default settings the same. But you may want to make sure that this box is checked here. Import all existing Eclipse projects after cloning. So let's go ahead and click Finish. And two things should happen. You'll see a GitHub repository down here with your name showing in the master branch. And a project should pop in that shows that it's linked to your GitHub repository down here. And if you expand out, I made everybody a starter project with a Chapter 2 package and a Hello World example program. So that's how you set up your GitHub repository. If you have any questions, just email me or ask me in class.